So belt tension was a big question that I had when uh, we got this X tool and put it together. Uh, the instructions show you how to adjust the tension of the belt, but I thought it was very vague on what the tension should be, not too loose or not too tight. Well, how much is that? And so from what I found, this little block in the corner on each end, you know, when you turn the screw back here to loosen or tighten the belt, it basically just moves that block in or out, which increases or reduces the tension on the belt. And so I just, on each end, one at a time, the screw on the side basically locks that little block into place so it can't move, can't move front or back. I loosened that. And I had a little stack of one eighth inch plywood that I just stacked together different layers until it measured about uh, 17 millimeters. And 17 millimeters is about two thirds of an inch. So I just had a stack of those that would fit in this little space and I just stuck them in there behind it. This is after I already had loosened the block and had plenty of slack in the belt. So I put the stack of uh, plywood in there, held it with my left hand and just took my right hand with a screwdriver and tightened it to that block came in and got pretty snug against the plywood. And then I just tightened the set screw on the back and I came over here and did the same thing to this side. Loosened the screw there, took a screwdriver here and loosened it and put a lot of slack in the belt, you know. Then just held the little uh, stack of plywood pieces behind that block between the frame, tightened it up, locked it in. Because I think there's probably a generous amount of uh, uh, a tension range in the belts uh, where the machine will work correctly. But I think the most important thing is that the tension is even on both sides. If it's not even, I think that this end of the gantry crane, the end that's opposite the stepper motor, if it's not even tension, I think the gantry may have a tendency to get out of square just a little bit as it's moving front and back, especially the initial move you know, when it changes directions. Uh, and for intricate work, it can make it just a little bit wonky. So 17 millimeters or something close to that, I think anything between 16 and 18 will probably be just fine. But just as long as they're even on each side, that's the biggest thing. Uh, get the tensions, you know, in, in that range and then just make sure that they're the same on each side. Then I'll have the machine working great. That's my tip of the day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.